Hey everybody, it's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. Um, and today I want to talk to you about why I use the TOA gauge. Um, for those of you who don't know, the TOA gauge is this nice little contraption that helps you set your bobbin tension in your um, in some of your sewing machines and in your long arm machines. Um, they come in two sizes, so they can um, adjust tension for an L size bobbin or an M size bobbin. So make sure you have the correct machine before you um, purchase one. And um, I, f I first got mine for my long arm. So I had Taco. This is my Handy Quilter Infinity 26 with Pro Stitcher. And um, he's four years old. But for the, probably the first three years, I never used a TOA gauge. I did the drop test, you know. Here's my bobbin case. Here's my bobbin. Going to pop it in. Put it in my hand. Pull out some slack. Make sure it stands up. This one's a little bit loose. and um, But you'd make sure it stands up and then... Um, you want it to drop with your hand. And what I found about the drop test is super subjective. You know, your tension when you drop yours is going to be a little bit different than mine. So um, so I was good with the drop test, but it, it left me wanting sometimes because, you know, maybe I dropped it and it felt good and then the tension was still off on the machine. So um, I ended up investing in a TOA gauge. This is the TOA gauge for the M size bobbins. And... It, it just changed my world of long arm. So if you have any issues with tension on the long arm, this is a nice step to take because this will ensure that at least your bobbin is set correctly. So then all your adjustments are done on the top. Um, works really easy. I have my, um, this is a bottom line bobbin. I know that because I purchased the Handy Quilter Purple Bobbins and these are only used for bottom line thread at my house. And then I have the regular bobbins that are used for so fine thread. Um, those are usually the only two that I run in my bobbins on my handy quilter um, long arm because you get more uh, you get more stitching with a thinner thread. But um, I'm going to put this bobbin in here. The toe gauge is set up just like your bobbin case. So I want to hear that click. And now I know that my bobbin's in correctly. I can... Um, pull through our little gears and then I pull this thread and as the thread pulls you can see that uh, that gauge move and I wouldn't normally like pull it I just want you to see the gauge move when I pull it I pull it nice and steady as if it were coming off and it's gonna give me a number and this bobbin is way too tight this is maybe 130 and or uh, it was too loose it was maybe about 130 um, I get my screwdriver and well the um, bobbin case is still in the toe gauge I can tighten that screw up and this is bottom line thread and according to the um, superior website I'll show you how to get there later on in the video but um, they want your bobbin tension on bottom line thread to be anywhere from like 170 to 200 so now I'm gonna pull and we're we're good like 185 now so I will you you can't see this pretty very well but I'll bring you up close and so you can see it and see how I'm doing it. But um, now, because I've used the gauge, I know my bobbin tension is correct. So when I put my bobbin in, I know it's correct every time because I'm always going to test my bobbin before I um, every bobbin change. I test it in my gauge really quick if I need to make a little of adjustments. You'd be surprised. I could have four black bobbins, all of the same thread, and sometimes you, just little minor adjustments to get all those bobbins correct. But um, I know that every time I stick this in that machine, that the bobbin is correct because I tested it with my toe gauge. I mean, game changer because, you know, I could have dropped that for days and um, maybe dropped it 50 times with 50 different bobbins and everyone was a, was a little bit different. They're never different anymore because I've gauged it and I have a number for it. Um, it kind of just, you know, it gives you a number for what we were just guessing before. Um, again, they also have them for the L size L size uh, bobbins. This is my Handy Quilter Stitch HQ Stitch 510. It um, It's a straight stitch machine, but um, it goes so fast. Oh my gosh, if I'm trying to speed piece this thing, don't do a jelly roll race with me. I'll win with this guy. But same thing, it you know it has its bobbin case. I'm gonna load it. Now the bobbin's gonna go into the L size. This is the L size TOA gauge. Clicks in just like before, and you just kind of feed around and then check that tension. Um, one, one thing I love about Superior is they have a whole reference guide that shows you 
dif- um, which thread and how tight your toe setting should be. Um, it just, you know, it makes that world of guessing just kind of disappear. Um, but, you know, I use a masterpiece thread in this. I'll use um, superior Pima cotton thread, bottom line thread. So this is a bottom line bobbin for my 510. This is a masterpiece bobbin. So these are going to be, they're different thickness. So I'm going to have to kind of adjust these this bob, bobbin case to fit the type of thread I'm using. And now it's no longer like, oh, let me guess here or there which, which what my settings are going to be, you know, how tight it should be. No, I have a number. So I'm going to bring you in close so you can, I'm going to show you both of these and we'll do some minor adjustments if we need to. And then I'll also show you where you can find that on the um, Superior webpage under their education section. So give me a second so I can flip that uh, camera around. We'll be right back. All right, so here's our toe gauge. This is the L size. I can tell because this little clip right here doesn't go all the way to the outside of the circle because on the M size bigger bobbin, it has to get all the way out there. Um, up close, we can see that we have our numbers here and um, this is the one that's gonna, the spring that's gonna move with that tension. Right here is a little cutter and then when the case is actually in there, we can just turn it and I can use a screwdriver right here on the side. So um, I'm gonna have to grab that screwdriver because I know we're gonna have to make a few adjustments. Um, all right, so let's see, this is my um, cotton. This is a masterpiece, 100% cotton, 50 weight thread by Superior, it's a three ply, great piece of thread. I'm going to click it in. I know that um, it's in because I heard that click. Now, whenever I thread it, I'm going under this first one up around that second one. I probably shouldn't have used white and then under that lip. And then as I pull, this is reading about, I would say 150, maybe 160. And I'm not, what I'm, you can tell, I'm not like yanking it. Like I'm not trying to get it to go really fast. I just grab it and then a nice steady stream. So this one needs, to, um, this masterpiece should be two, uh, 170 to 200. Most of them kind of run that. Uh, remember when we're adjusting our bobbin, screw where we can see it or we can fill it we can't really see it it's small adjustments here and that looks a little bit better i probably have to go a little bit more no you know what? i'm gonna say that this is good it's about 180 and i like that so this would be the perfect set bobbin for masterpiece so now i could put this in my machine and take off to the races but Let's say I just finished that bobbin, and now I want to go off and I want to do um, some piecing. I'm piecing a different project, and I need some thinner thread. This is bottom line. Look, you can barely even see it. This is a bottom line 60 weight polyester thread. I love it. Pop this back in there. And I'm loaded right. I'm going to put this into my case. So these are different weight threads, 60 weight. 50 weight. So this thread should not bring that um, spring down as much. So let's see. And look, we're back to under 150 because this is a thinner thread. So when we have this one in, we're going to have to tighten that screw. And remember, we can feel it, not see it. Oh, my screwdriver's rolling off. And now I would test it. Oh, and we got to go a little bit more. And this one is also 170 to 200, which is nice because that means all. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a perfect 190. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. That is my bottom line bobbin. Um, so I would test this every time I did a bobbin change um, just to make sure, like I said, I could wind four of these bobbins and they could all need just minor adjustments. But you know, if every if all of these bobbins are running somewhere between 170 and 200, that means that top tension is always the only one that you're going to need to change because these are always perfect. So that is why I toa. I'm going to flip over to my computer and I want to show you where you can find the um, Superior chart and some other fun educational things on Superior's website. Um, fact about toa: they don't sell to anyone wholesale. So um, whatever price you can find out there is probably the best one. Um, some shops carry them, some don't. Um, if you can't find it at your local shop, 
you know, you can order them from Superior Threads, um, superiorthreads.com, and they usually have the best price because they, they really make no money on these. It's just about getting them out to um, customers so they can stop worrying about their tension and spend more time loving the process. So I'll switch over to the computer, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we're going to go over here, and we want to go to superiorthreads.com. Okay, so first thing you want to do is we want to get to Superior Threads. Um, it's superiorthreads.com, but in case you forget, you can always just type it into your Google search. Let's see. So first thing we want is we want to get to superiorthreads.com. Um, in case you forget, you know, you can search Superior Threads, Superior Threads. I've obviously done it before. Um, and you should get superiorthreads.com somewhere. And now I'm going to click that link. It will redirect me to from Superior Threads. Um, now keep in mind, this is, you can shop here. You can get a lot of your threads here. Um, you can also get a lot of these threads from your local quilt shop. So if you see something on here that you like and you're like, oh, you know, I really want to support local, take, um, like, you want this bright red bonded nylon thread. Take the, um, take the number, 008, back to your quilt shop and say, hey, you know what? I know I can get this from Superior. I'd rather get it from you. Can you order this for me? And a lot of shops will order you um, thread if they, if they can. Um, so I always like to ask first, but you can order things here. If you're looking for the TOA gauge, you can type in TOA. Here's your two gauges. Remember, you want to get the correct one, the L or the M. It looks like the M is out of stock. I'm going to have to find out when they're going to get more in. But this is a great price, un under $53. Um, and then when you want to go... Um, when you want to get the, those education materials, you can click on this education tab and there's a ton of stuff on here. I mean, I go through this all the time just looking at things. I tend to just hit view all because I want to see, you know, all of the reference guides they have. And right here is the Toa Bob and Gage template. I mean, there's long arm resources and domestic machine resources, needle guides. I mean, if you have never come here to just kind of check out and see what they have going on, you're missing out. I mean, there's so much educational material on the Superior Threads webpage. But I'm going to tap on my Toa Bob and Gage template. And this is the golden ticket right here. It has all of their threads, the weight the thread is, the recommended needle size for that thread, and the Toa Tension number. Plus, if you look over to the right, it has some other um, recommended tips. So if I'm using Fantastico, they recommend using a handy net over the cone because Fantastico thread is a tri-level poly. It tends to be a little bit slippier, more slippery. Um, so a thread net can help you with those. You know, the glitter, we're going to go through one hole in the tension guide instead of all three. And you're going to need that spool adapter or what we call the horizontal spool pin. So this has a ton of great info just on this one page. And I mean, there's four pages of different educational material. So um, you can download this, print this out. And um, I know people who have printed it and laminated it and they um, hang it off the side of their long arm. So it's always there. Um, you'll end up using them, using the threads enough that you'll know what, what your numbers are. But, um, but that is how to get to your reference guide. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you, if you're having trouble with tension, you try the Toa gauge out. Um, it, like I said, it really was a game changer for me. And now I can jump into any project I want and never have to worry that my bobbin's perfect. So um, thank you so much. I'm always posting videos and um, short clips and photos and everything on my social media. So make sure you go follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Adam So Fun, And that's S-E-W. Um, also, adamsofun.com if you're looking for classes or interested in some um, virtual learning and, um, and videos. If you like this, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, my plan is to do a bunch of videos over the winter break while I'm home and um, just continue bringing more information out to you all and hopefully um, help, help some people in areas that they might be um, wanting more information 
or uh, wanting to learn a little bit more. So thank you for joining me and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.